The IFP says this election infographic, as they term it, was meant to be a message of support for traditional leadership. But it caused an outcry on social media with many users disapproving of the use of the image of the Amazulu king as part of an election campaign. The IFP has since admitted the error and also apologized to His Majesty and the Amazulu royal family. The party is also considering disciplinary action against party members responsible for the post. This photo was erroneously used and would like to apologize for any inconvenient cause to His Majesty, the royal family, and to the traditional Prime Minister of the Zulu Nation and Monarch Prince Mangos Nukutili. The IFP remains steadfast in our continued support of traditional leadership as per of South Africa's democratic dispensation, and disciplinary processes will be taken against the implicated staff member. The IFP regrets the error and wishes to assure the South African public of our continued respect of His Majesty the King. The ANC was scathing in its criticism and sent out a media statement. We are not surprised, first and foremost, by them using the picture of Ms. Mtoana or Ms. Zulu. The IP has always abused traditional leadership. So the same has happened because they are trying to gain traditional support of the Zulu nation in the province because they are realizing that as a political party on their own, they are not gaining the momentum of their campaign. So they are trying every dirty tricks to gain the support of the Zulu nation, as if they are the custodian of the Zulu nation when they are a political party, not anything else. The Amazulu Royal House also sent out a stern warning to all parties. Office of the King which is to state categorically that from time immemorial, the Zulu king and Ilungu Uluwazulu has never been used to advance political ideology. This office humbly appeals to all political parties to refrain from using photos of the kings or any uh, other royalty-related images in their election campaigns. The king has always been above politics. This is a warning to all political parties, otherwise... This office might have to seek legal advice on this. Analysts agree that it was wrong to use the image of the king as part of an election campaign. No political party that is supposed to use the picture of the Zulu king in its political activities, including election campaigns for the forthcoming local government elections. So in that context, I would say that uh, the concern raised by the ANC is indeed justifiable. This latest controversy involving the IFP follows the DA's poster debacle, which forced the party to pull down its election posters in Phoenix. Lundhadeb, SAPC News, Deben.